Hello all, we are here for one more lesson of this AutoCAD 2016 training course and this lesson will be called uh, Explore Drawing. Uh, in this lesson we are going to see about two commands that we have inside the Modify panel and the commands are the Copy command and the Trim command. Um, we have a, a sequence of uh, learning uh, that for those uh, interested in buying the purchased part of this course will understand because we, uh, along with these uh, lessons, we have exercises on the theoretical side. Uh, so uh, I, I suppose it will seem a little strange to to see only these two commands at this um, at this time on the course, but uh, again, if you have the theoretical side, you will understand why we are, we are presenting these two commands now. But anyway, let us see how do they work. Uh, first, the copy command. I will draw one very simple entity again, a line. And as I said on the modify panel, I have this symbol here, the copy, uh, that I will choose. And you can have the shortcuts uh, on the keyboard uh, to call this command also. If, we, if you, you type CO, it is the same as going in the command, so it's the same copy. And when I go to copy, you must look always to the command line. It is very important. Again, I already said this many times and I will repeat myself until the end. So copy and the software is asking uh, to make a selection of the objects to make the copy. So in this case, I have only one object. I could have a lot of them, but I will choose the objects I want. So left click and it said one found, please select more. And I will keep selecting objects until all are done. When they are done, I can do the enter on the keyboard. Okay. And now uh, the message move on and now is saying, please specify the base point. Okay. I have some options that I will show you after. But I can say uh, a base point, whatever I want. I will click somewhere in my screen. It doesn't matter. I've clicked, left click here, and now I will move my mouse. If you see on the command line, you see first it was asking for a base point, and now it's asking for a second point. Okay? So you see from the first point, is using as a reference for the second one, okay? So this vector from the first to the second point, it is what in fact will be displaced, okay? And the copy command, it is something that leave the original object uh, on 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 its original location and it will create one copy. So I will click here now. Uh, you see that little rectangle showing the polar. If I say, for example, 1000, it will make 1000 on the direction that it was shown and escape to leave the command. So this has 1000 to here. On the direction that was horizontal. Um, so I think it's very easy to use this command and you can mix the tools that you already learned previously like the ortho to or the polar uh, angles to make definition of uh, one specific direction and use that to invoke a distance. Okay it is very easy. So again, the copy command, I will choose again an object, it can be this one now, select objects, enter to confirm no more, 
and now I have some options here okay uh, for example the displacement option and the displacement you see I will bring this a little back the displacement it will look for the origin of the drawing origin of the AutoCAD and will grab um, it will grab the distance from that origin until the object and it will take this as a reference you see that my mouse the distance from the the point that I have my mouse to the uh, world coordinate system the origin uh, is the vector definition to make the copy so I think it's easy to, to understand also and at this point I can say uh, a kind of a vector now I have zero 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 but I can say um, a hundred comma a hundred zero and it was a little displacement okay just a hundred in x a hundred in y uh, in z zero you see here okay again the copy command uh, choose this guy again and now the mod um, the mod that brings me uh, another option to make a copy a singular or multiple um, you see that uh, when I made the, the normal uh, copy and I will do it again okay multiple if I say um, a base point copy 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 it doesn't matter now the distance but you see that I make multiple copies the only difference that I have from one of the options to the other the mode uh, standard it is multiple so it allow me to make several copies in the same command if I choose the single it will make me just one copy and will leave the command okay it's the only difference um, let me now show you the trim command I will make uh, intersection here for example like this and now I go to the trim uh, that correspond to this icon here see trim or if I say this uh, TR trim it's the same and again you must look into, into the command line and, and see that the first thing it is a selection of objects that we call as cutting edges so in fact we are choosing the uh, object that it will act as a knife so in looking to these two lines here if I want to clean this part here by this line to this first selection I can have several objects but I will choose this line here and after everything is chosen as cutting edges I will say enter okay and now is asking me so what is the part of the line that you want to cut so I say this and it cut me this line through this cutting edges object that it is um, in, in blue mode a little different from the other objects let us uh, try a different thing okay again TR and cutting edges this one and now I can see a couple of options that I have here okay first the fence uh, at this moment uh, I, I want to choose the objects that will be cut so uh, this is the these options are to present the options to make that selection basically so fence it allow me to make a definition like this okay very easy if I choose the crossing it's a window you see that it is a little different from the behavior we expect because um, 
if uh, normally when you open a, a selection window it is different going from the right or, or to the left it will have a different behavior but in this particular case as uh, we call it already a crossing window uh, either way we open it it's always a crossing window i don't have anything to to choose now so i'm just showing you the window uh, the project, we are not going to see it here, but the projection, and uh, for sure you understand that we have uh, three axes. Uh, until now, we are working only uh, in the plan X, Y, but we have a Z pointing to us. Um, so, in fact, I can have this line crossing this one, but not in the same plan. It could be above uh, or saying it on another way, instead of the Z being zero, it can be any value. So uh, if I see this in this uh, plan view, I think they are crossing each other, but in the space they were not crossing because the blue line uh, had uh, a different value from zero in, in the Z axis. But the project will look only for the projection on the plan that we are working um, at the point uh, we do the trim command. Okay. Um, there is also an option, an uh, edge, and the edge will open a, a second question that say. Do you consider extending or not extending? And I would say extending. Then um, I must start again because now it's not working already. So the trim now, the cutting edge will be this, okay? And then the enter, and I will say edge and the extend. So I want to cut this part. And with the extend activated, you see that I don't need to have the entities crossing each other. Okay, just uh, it looks for the um, the extension line. Imagine uh, imagine an extension line, and we'll find the point where they would cross if the extension was done. It is enough. To, to choose this option. Um, the erase will just um, erase one entity while we are in the middle of the command. Okay, And finally, the undo uh, will make uh, an operation behind, inside, uh, be behind or back, sorry, uh, an operation back inside the trim command it will not go out so if i go again and again it will go to the beginning of this trim command so instead of going back one full command it will go back one operation inside the trim command so these are the two commands uh, i'd like to show you in this lesson uh, I hope it was clear for you and I hope to see you in our next lesson.